yes I know I have like this huge Ankara Bonnie on my head but that's because we're going to be doing an Ankara Bonnie inspired makeup look today Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ulua Yemisi if you already don't know and some people call me Shante. Thank you for stopping by. If you're a new subscriber, you're most definitely welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, I love you guys. You know I love you guys. I love you so much. <laughs> so today I'm going to be creating like this look that you see right here on myself. I hope you enjoy today's look. You like it and you like learn one or two things. And if that be the case, I hope you watch till the end and then I'll get to see you at the end of this video. Achia! So I've gone ahead to do one eye off camera and I'm just going to be doing the second one right here. I'm going to start off by ensuring that my eye, I have an even base for my eye makeup and for that I'm using the Ewaronke Illusions palette which is a concealer palette. I'm going to be cancelling out every darkness around my eyelid area with that and I'm going to be blending the concealer with a random blending brush after which I'll proceed to set the concealer with my Zaron finishing powder. Then I'm going to go into my Warren Care 35 Twinkle and Glitz palette. I'm going to be using these three colors that I have shown to transition. I'm just going to be taking one over the other just to ensure that the crease is um, warm and transitions appropriately. Now I'm going to go into my Colourpop, I'm going to be using my Colourpop blending brush and I'm going to be taking the colour that I showed just in, inside my crease. This is to deepen up the crease some more. And I'm going into the brush that I used earlier on to blend both colours together. I'm going to be alternating between using the smaller blending brush and the original or the first blending brush that I used to ensure that everything is well blended together. I'm taking this deeper color again and I'm concentrating that into the crease and in my inner corner before I drag outside because of the kind of eye makeup I'm going for. So now to cut my crease I'm going to be using the same concealer palette and I'm just going to be doing like an like a half cut crease but my cut crease will be, how do I explain this, it's a reverse cut crease. It's not a full cut crease, it's a, like a half cut crease, but it's going to be mm, in the reverse. And I'm going to be taking the color that I should to set the concealer. Next, I'll go into the deepest color that I used earlier on, and I'm just going to use that to cancel out any ash lines in my inner corner. And I'll take that glitter color from the same palette and I'm using um, this elf eyeliner brush to pick up the glitter and just place on my cut crease now I'm going to be using my Inglot gel eyeliner just to draw up my wings very very tiny little wing right here and I'm going to be cleaning off excess eyeshadow before prepping my eyelashes for the fall seas using the Zara mascara. Now I'm going to be placing my BMO lashes in being clay on my eyelashes. I already applied the glue a while ago so it's very tacky and it will just go on effortlessly. Now that I'm done with my eyes, I'm going to begin by priming my face with the Zaron face primer. This acts like a moisturizer so I just like to put that as a base before I use any mattifying primer but in this case I wasn't carrying this makeup out so I was fine with just moisturizing the face I wasn't looking for like that mattifying look next I'm going to cancel out any hyperpigmentation or darkness I have on my face with the orange corrector before I go in to apply my foundation and for this look I'm using the Haga and Esther photo perfect foundation in the color bronze and I'm applying that with a brush before I go in with the beauty blender
So before I go in with the beauty blender, I like to first of all spray my face with my Zara makeup finishing spray and then I'll use the beauty sponge to push the foundation into my skin and take off any excess foundation that I might have on it. Next I'm going to be highlighting with the Colourpop No Filter Concealer in the shade Deep Golden. I'm going to be using this very lightly because actually this concealer is quite thick and it's full coverage so you do not need a lot but I end up using a lot. And I'm using my Airwarium Care Beauty Sponge to blend out the concealer. Just to uh, ensure there are no harsh lines and to cancel out all the edges, I'm going to be using my foundation brush and I'm just going to be um, going over the edges of the concealer with the brush to take off all the harsh lines. Next, I'm going to be, um, for my low lights, I'm going to be using the Black Opal Stick Foundation in Black Walnut just to apply my contour. I'm going very lightly, with light-handed with the brush. I'm not using too much effort because I just want it to be defined I don't want it to be too too defined just slightly defined and I'm also snatching my nose with the same stick foundation after which I'm going into the beauty sponge again and blending all of that together then I'm going to be setting my contour with the Maybelline cacao powder very lightly as well with the same brush that I used to apply the stick foundation after which I'll set my highlight with the Sasha buttercup setting powder Now I'm setting with a brush because I don't like to bake and I don't want to use so much powder. I don't know, it just doesn't work for me. I see it as a waste of powder. By the time you use your beauty sponge to pack on the powder and just put on your face and then you brush up the excess at the end of the day. So I normally apply with this brush. Now I'm going back to my eye and I'm using the deepest color that I used earlier and just packing that on my lower lash line. And then I'm also using a brush to take some jumbo pencil and milk from NYX just to apply that right inside my waterline. Like that. Then I'm going to be using my Zara mascara to define my lower lashes just to make them pop. And I'm blending all the powder on my face with the Zara Maxi Blend powder. I'm not sure what the shade is. Now that I'm done with that, I'm going into this Ewaren Illusion Luminescence Palette and I'm just going to be applying my highlights, my powder highlights, just to ensure that we stay glowing or we shine like the, like the sun. You know how I like to do this. So I'm just going to pack on a lot of that. Not a lot that is not reasonable, but a lot just right in the borderline yeah how I like to glow then I'm also applying my brush my blush and I'm using the MAC blush in breezy just slightly um, warming up my face with the blush not using too much and I'm using the real techniques blush brush to apply that then I'm doing my little dance. Now that I'm done with the face, to ensure that everything is um, intact, I, I use my Zara makeup setting spray to set my whole face. And then I'm taking the Colourpop Sleepy Pencil in Notion to line my lips. After which I'm following up with the Younger Beauty Liquid Lipstick in Ivana. Yeah, and apologize for talking through this video even though I have the voiceover on. That was because for some reason I didn't put on my microphone while filming this video. Well, I'll explain later. So guys, like the worst thing happened to me while filming this video. Like, I didn't realize that as I was talking to you, my microphone, I forgot to put it on. 
so I was kind of like talking to myself so I apologize for that I really hope you enjoyed this look right here I hope like you learned one or two things I hope that you can recreate it and let me know the only way I'll get to know if you did is by you dropping your like on this video dropping a comment subscribing to this channel if you're already not subscribed to it and then um, I guess I'll see you in my next video but wait before you go do not leave this channel until you check out my other videos that I have for you guys I really hope you enjoy being on my channel and I'll get to see you back if you stop by every now and again and I love you guys and I can't wait to see you in my next video bye